Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this all of you and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. We are faithful, Lord, to your command. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all who minister to your people. Remember our sisters and brothers who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Using other words which Jesus himself taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and in your mercy grant us peace in our day. Keep us free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of that kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us give to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the of the world have mercy
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Gracious God, in this celebration, you show us the depth of your love. Inspire us by this sacrament that we might share with others those things we hold in trust and the gift of our loving service. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Our thanks to Helen Sunter from Don Mills, Ontario, whose generous contribution made the televising of today's Mass possible. On behalf of Father Bush, Father Coots, Father Fitzpatrick, Father Donovan, Father Lynch, and all of us here at Daily Mass, our best wishes for a happy Thanksgiving. For